graduation announcement. I was surprised any of this was around. 40 years of high school memories at Dallas Jesuit come back to life. Then the cap and of course the, the you kept it tassel. All. But for Mike Pettavilla, those high school memories continue to haunt him. I wish these men were still alive to face what's going on now. Pettavilla says he's speaking out now for the first time against Jesuit priests who sexually abused him and his classmates and yet went unpunished. I've been through many years of hell that prepared me for this moment right now. Pettavilla says that personal hell began his sophomore year at Jesuit in 1980. I've just struggled for years wondering you know, what took place during that time. Last December, the Catholic Diocese of Dallas finally admitted Jesuit had 11 men credibly accused of sexually abusing students. Father Patrick Koch, Jesuit's former president, was later named as one of the accused. And I just thought to myself, my fight is over. I don't have to prove myself anymore. In a lawsuit filed in September, Pettavilla claims Koch molested him when he was 15 years old inside his office on campus during school hours. The lawsuit says Koch turned off the lights, sat on the floor, kneecap to kneecap. Then Koch reached out his hands and the boy placed his hands in Koch's hands. He said, I want you to shut your eye, I want you to close your eyes and we're just gonna, um, I want you to count backwards from 10. I wasn't comfortable at all with closing my eyes and I remember just kind of scrunching them. When I did enough, within just a couple seconds, I felt a kiss on my lips, and I recoiled. Looking back now, Pettavilla says the grooming started his freshman year. He says Father Coke was always touchy-feely, but there was no pulling away from him out of respect. But the betrayal that sets in when you look at that now, and you sense that, I, again, you thought you were special? No. He says Coke wasn't the only priest who targeted him. Pettavilla says Father Donald Dickerson, known to students as Father Fields, once tackled him from behind in a crowded hallway between classes and rode him like a horse. I'm trying to get up and I can't. And so I'm kind of looking back and I'm just flailing because I, I was small and uh, he was a larger guy. And it was Father Dickerson. He was on my back. Pettavilla's suit alleges the abuse at Jesuit was systemic and priests were conspiring and working together to cover up misconduct. I am doing exactly, Jesuit, what you taught us to do. I am standing up to be a man for others. And that is exactly, Jesuit, what I'm asking you to do. In Dallas, I'm Cynthia Isaguirre. Pettavilla hopes that by going on camera tonight, he will give a voice to those who don't yet have the strength to come forward with their own painful stories of molestation.